Jack, go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, thank you, Pastor Morris, for offering your church. I think right now, like any other time in our nation's history, we need God. Our unit. And that is exactly what's at the core of our problems. And I've, and I've said this to the president, we got to do something about this. Our fatherlessness crisis in America right now uh, is at a boiling point. Uh, you look across our, our cities and you look at our kids uh, right now, you know, 20 times more likely to go to prison. Prison. Your kid is 20, like, 20 times more likely to go to prison if he doesn't have a father in the house. Too many of our men and women are ending up in our prisons and coming home with nothing to get back on their feet to. Just come home with old glory on their shoulders, end up in our prisons, and we are better than that. A police officer or someone else uh, kills someone, you know, things go up in flames. And so we should have that same anger that we had when we saw that evil police officer put his neck on George Floyd. We should have that same anger when we see these babies in the streets being murdered. We have a real issue in our country and the root of it, let's not get our eye off the enemy. The root of it is fatherlessness. Our kids don't have fathers. Trump, he had made a, a bunch of promises. Let me just be transparent. When he first started talking about the things he was going to do, I'm sitting there going, wait a minute here. I mean, is he serious? Because everything that he was saying that he wanted to do was the stuff that needs to be done. And before he walked out that meeting that day, I promise I'll make it out there uh, to, you know, come speak at one of your graduations. I heard that they were, were phenomenal. When he stood there in that graduation and he went out of his way, to shake the hand of every one of those 29 graduates, set them on a whole nother vista of life because they had the office of the President of the United States. The promises that he made was promises that he kept. Let's bridge the gap through love, through Christ, and through being what we all know we are. And that's one America. God bless America.